guys! So I know this is weird, I do have gloves on, but I was unloading some of my painted flanges bottles out of a case. And there were some broken ones in there, and I thought that I'd gotten all the broken glass out, and there was a little piece that cut up along my thumb. I'm totally fine. It's just yucky looking, and I've been delaying filming, waiting for it to heal, and it's still yucky looking. So I just have gloves. Then nobody has to look at it, and honestly, I maybe this is a better idea for the close-up on the hands that aren't swatch pictures, because then I don't have to worry about whether or not there's paint from mixing and stuff. So let's talk about some of these polishes. First we have OPI Magazine Cover Mouse. If you're not new here, then you probably know OPI Jinx is one of my favorite textured polishes of all times. I do love the contrast in this one also of that gold next to that bright classic red in there. This one just, um, I did not buy this new. I bought this one off of eBay or something, and this one was a little bit gloopy. Um, gloopy being the highly technical term there. <laughs> I did put a little bit of a thinner in there, which did, I think, increase my drying time a little bit. It's still totally fine. It's still dried down textured. Like I said, it is a little bit of an older polish, and I was not the first owner. So you are going to see magazine cover mouse. And I have no idea what order I wore these in. We have Penelope Lou's Crazy Rick. I love this polish. I hope it's focusing on that so you guys can see the flakies. This is a gorgeous, not quite a turquoise blue, but it's a gorgeous light blue with a bunch of shifty flakies in there. This one, I this is Crazy Rick and it was a polish pickup polish. I wore this one at three coats. I love watching flakies build up. This one was a definite win for me. And then I have a blush lacquer. This one is so glowy, isn't it? It's like a tangerine colored orange, but it's got like a golden and orange shimmer in it. This is Blush Lacquer Maldives. This is not from this year. This is at least a year old. But I believe it was the first time that I've worn this one. I do really like it, and orange is not a color that I wear especially often. I don't know why, but it's just not a color that I reach for, but I loved this one. I have been missing vacations too, so maybe I just wanted a vacation name. My kids decided to all come up here and go camping in the campground up here. And that was super fun. My husband took the boat out with them. They brought their dogs up. They made treats. I think they decided they were going to make that a yearly thing since there's no real trips that they get to go on. Of course, we have another textured polish. This is OPI Vesper from the... Um, is it the Bond Girls collection? I think it is. So this one, I love the color of. I just don't love the way this one dries. So this one is like a very deep, deep purple when it dries down, and it's got like little black flecks. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's that I like the ones like Magazine Cover Mouse that have a shine and Jinx that have a shine, but the ones that are have a matte um, texture to them I don't like as much. So when Vesper dries down, for some reason, I just don't like it as much. I bet if they had like a gold or a shiny shimmer in here, I would like it more. It was still a great quick polish. I do have to do at least two coats with this one. I don't feel like this is one I can do just one coat and run with. But you are going to see two coats of OPI Vesper. And then I pulled out Painted Flange's Most Magical Place on Earth because I needed a pedicure. That is one thing that has definitely been lacking in my life. So I did an at-home pedicure and this one was super fun on the toes with the Shifty Flakies. I did not take a picture, I spared you guys, but I will put in a swatch photo of this one. 
So this is Painted Phalanges, Most Magical Place on Earth, and this was um, September 2019 Polish Pickup. Another Polish Pickup Polish, this is Alchemy Lacquer Sands of Giza. This is like a lilac with a gold it has a shifty shimmer and I definitely get lots of gold and pink in it. Probably some orange too. It definitely goes through a spectrum. It's got like a lavender or a lilac base. This is gorgeous. It's so gorgeous on the nails. It had a good formula to it. This was, as I said, a polish pickup polish. Oh, it's from March. I was going to say I can never remember the month. And this is Sands of Giza. So you will see two coats of Sands of Giza. And then one last textured polish. This is Zoya's Godiva. This one is a light neutral color textured polish with some shiny micro glitters in there. This one is an easy grab for me because as always, it's a textured polish so it dries quickly, but also because of the light color that's similar-ish to my skin tone, if it flakes or chips or I mess up the application in a hurry quick manicure, then it's not as noticeable. All right, guys, I think that is all for this Angie's Manny's. As always, please leave down below and tell me what you've been wearing on your nails. Tell me, since everything that's been going on and travel being crazy, have you guys been doing anything like my kids coming up and going camping together? I know, obviously, for some people, they're not close enough to still see their family or it's not safe to still see their family. You guys probably remember that when my youngest granddaughter was born in April. I didn't actually get to meet her for almost three weeks because of everything that was going on at my job at the hospital. So I totally understand that. So let me know what you're wearing and what's been going on with you down below. Bye guys!